Keith is here, and the funny thing about this non-haunter, first thing he does when he gets here, he goes in the backyard and he checks it out. I walked through the main haunt too. So today is going to be cleanup and repairs and the prop. Huh? Would you repair something? Huh? Would you repair something? What'd you repair? Some volumes. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, I worked hard on that. Uh, the prop car jumped the tracks. No way. Kind of. Uh, last night, Travis was like, because um, Travis went and did the walkthrough, you know, himself to see everything. Yeah. And he came to the prop car and he said he knows what it does. Travis and I were the ones that put the fence up, but when the prop car activated, he was like, oh, shit because it actually hits the fence now. It's moved forward four inches. The concrete is coming out of the ground and all the little, uh, all the pieces of rebar that I stuck in uh -huh. are on the other side of the bars where I stuck them in now. It's freaking crazy. I'll show you guys like right in a second. I caught you. Yeah, so last night guys, she was like barking at everybody. I just got through telling Keith. Uh, she was barking at everybody and then she basically got fed up and she was like, screw this. And she went in her bed and laid down in her dog run. So funny. All right, prop car. Take a look at this, guys. It has pulled the concrete up out of the ground. 120 pounds of concrete. And all the little pieces of rebar that I've stuck in, um, I had them on the other side. So this thing has jumped up and it's moved about four inches and it hits the fence now. So, the, oh, sorry, baby. Get out from under my feet. I mean, it's still in the ground. And I mean, these are like tight because this pops this pops up. Yeah. Because of the force on this. But, um, yeah, we need to pull it back and take the, the rebar, the six posts in the ground, pull them out. Bend them over. And when we put them in the ground, we need to like go at an angle this way. That way they're not going to get, it's that much harder to, to oh bend them. How short are they? They're, they're pretty freaking long. Well, I, I'm thinking of having them stick up a little bit more. I mean, the, the people push it from the center. And you can see where, where the path has been. So as far as um, people getting their foot caught on them, that's not a big deal. I mean, we can raise them up because they're not going to catch the wheels. So, yeah, that's the plan of action with the prop car. All right, so we've got this one over here done. We've drilled and put the rebar in over there. And I don't I don't think we filmed how long these rebar pieces are. What are they, like about three feet, four right feet? Oh, yeah, there we go. It's that tall. So that whole thing is in the ground, and it was still able to... Uh, Do its thing! Yeah. g dog. How much have you had to drink? Or is it sleep deprivation? I just worked 40 or 32 hours and 48, in which I've gotten five hours of sleep. Wow. So let's not forget the night that keeps us over here helping Troy. You dedicated haunter, you. No. <laughs> Good cousin. Uh, well, okay, I'll give you that, but it's already, you know, every it's 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 a done deal. We shouldn't even be talking about it anymore. What's a done deal? It's a hunter. Dry run? Yeah. Oh yeah, let me get on the other side. See how far this thing travels. Oh yeah, huh. one of the people last night. Yeah. When I was over here, when Sean was pushing it. I heard him, he said something like, uh, dude, your tabs are expired, that's against the law. And I'm like, wow, really? You look at that much detail on the thing, that was crazy. Nice. Did it hit the fence? Yeah, it still hit the fence. But, do it again. Are you okay? I got hit by the prop car. You got hit by it. Yeah. Hunter down. Took one to the face. 
Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey guys. Oh. So, <sighs> you guys may be right. I may be dedicated <laughs> as a haunter because I just took a prop car to the face. <laughs> so we get it right so it doesn't mess up tomorrow night. Well, right now I'm bleeding from my nose and a little bit from my forehead. And I got a scrape here. Yeah. Guys, I got beat up by the prop car. <laughs> I, I swear, that pr damn prop car is turning into freaking Christine, dude. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm not pushing that fucking freaking thing tomorrow. <laughs> it didn't hurt so bad. It was just kind of like shocked. Like, it just got hit in the face. <laughs> <clears throat> now what what really happened guys Keith and I Keith and I just scrapped and I won yeah. <laughs> keep telling yourself that it took a big ass inanimate object to kick my ass right? it didn't even kick my ass it just bloodied my nose up a little bit I'm still standing no TKO right here alright quit wasting time get back to work just, just kidding just kidding I'm sorry <laughs> excuse my bleeding <laughs> All right, so Keith and I are watching some of the uh, haunt footage from last night, and an awesome part just got through happening. So I want to give you guys a taste. This one here is just one that I've come across that's like really awesome and funny. Oh, fudge! I really thought she was going elsewhere with that one. <laughs> tomorrow's Halloween, so I, I'm doing all this again. So there's three hours of footage here, another three from tomorrow night, and then a total of eight hours from the prop car. I don't know what these people do. I haven't watched this yet. <laughs> well, the camera worked like you wanted it to. Yeah. It's been a little bit since you guys see me. I've got a knot now, <laughs> and my face is really, or my nose is really starting to get sore, so. And I really wanted to dress up for you guys and put, like, black makeup on, but Troy wouldn't do it. <laughs> Scared the devil! <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> At the Hellmouth Haunt! Yeah, no Wow! So guys, I figured out, or we figured out what the problem was with uh, the scene setter and why it ripped. <laughs> And we've already fixed it, unfortunately. Sorry, I didn't catch it. This right here, we've got the cinder block, which, go ahead and push it. Which when the wall comes down, we push the cinder block with our foot because it kind of vibrates concrete. The, person, the people can kind of feel it out there, but you can also hear it and it sounds like, you know, bricks coming down, which is what happens when the wall comes down. Dude, last night, who was doing this, the falling spike wall, unbeknownst it to me, was slamming it up against this 2x4, which eventually pulled this 2x4 out. This scene setter is attached to the 2x4, pulled all of it, and just like ripped it out. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. So this no is what bueno. we, huh? No, no bueno. bueno. Si. Si, senor. Muy malo. Look, guys, tomorrow's it. Which, when you see this, counter, one. One day. And then, after the one day, it's going to be 365 days. So we're going to be here for a little while, guys. <laughs> In 2009, um, this broke. And just as a quick fix in the haunt, I went and used a blowtorch and uh, soldered it. All the other fingers are starting to, to loosen up. You see that right there? I just got through re-riveting this one right here. And this one was such a pain in the butt to take apart. These right here I think are going to be fine. But anyway, case in point, Keith and I were talking about making a, some, during the course of the year, making a real reproduction glove. Because this one has its, it, its bad points as far as the blades that are on here. This blade right here is a little loose because the way that they attach the blades is they just poke the metal through and then spread it. So obviously in the way that we're using it, that's eventually going to break. He's going to have a blade fly off. Well, not fly off, but it's going to fall off. And also last night, this wire right here broke because apparently somebody 
had stepped on it. This is where the solder point is for the glove, and that's how you get power to the glove. So anyway, um, today, fix the prop car, fix the Freddy glove, fix the falling spike wall. Took a poop. <laughs> really? Well, I did before I came over. I thought we were just naming things that we did today. We, we were naming, like, uh, things that we have fixed today. Oh, okay. Keith and I are taking a look at some of the video also from the prop car, the first time that we've ever watched that. And some timing adjustments have to be made for the actors. Some? Some, okay. A lot. <laughs> are, you, are you going to demonstrate or? No, I'm going in the kitchen to get something to drink. Oh. <laughs> that's, not, um, that's not the kitchen, bro. No, I was looking if my cup was in there, so. Oh. No. No. <sighs> And it goes back, guys, to where everything just needs to be in sync. I mean, prop car went too early, boomerang scare went too late, vice versa. You know, it, it has to be timed right, you know, because if it isn't, then you got people not all the way there or they're past it already. And we had people, well, we've seen a couple guys, no, one or two guys, that just opened the gate and walked through before the prop car had a chance to go, which the actor should have had full control of the gate mm -hmm. where they couldn't have gone through. I, it's, it needs to be more timed and where everything's in sync. Yeah. You know, it, it has to be that way. Otherwise, we're not going to get the optimum scares. There, there's actually a comment uh, on last night's vlog about uh, the boomerang scare dude was kind of late. And, yeah. Yeah, so adjustments have to be made there. And when Keith was talking about, you know, too soon, people kind of poke their head around the corner and see the car there and know that something you know something is going to go on but by that time the the actor is already uh, flipping the switch for the the, re, or the brake lights which I, I fixed reverse lights tonight too it wasn't the power supply it was just wire I think I already said that um, ooh a squirrel but you know and he would just activate the car too soon to the people just stay around the corner in the pallets there until it activated and then then they would go so the, the whole thing was blown several times yeah. as far as the way that that is supposed to scare so things need to be adjusted anyway so I'm, I'm trying to think of something else and I think that's just about it so we got stuff fixed today and tomorrow we're gonna do it all again and tomorrow it, okay you guys you gotta see this every time Keith has something to say he's like do it just yeah, it's like turn the camera around, but you guys can see this. Key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take this it. is the look at me sign. <laughs> look at me, I'm crazy, Keith. Yeah, yeah, you guys see how crazy I am for you? Look, look, you see my nose right there? See my forehead with the knot on it? Yeah, all for you guys. Um, I just want to say, you know, good luck with everybody's haunts if you haven't already started. Um, tomorrow's happy Halloween. I mean, tomorrow is Halloween, so happy Halloween. Uh, the other thing, uh, subscriber shoutouts real quick. House on Rain Street and Drexen. Thank you guys for subscribing and coming along on this freaking awesome haunt, haunt journey. This is so cool. I'm so stoked for tomorrow because the traffic should be a little bit better as far as the haunt's concerned. Blog TV, tomorrow, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go to the link down in the sub bar in the bottom of the video because the the search engine on Blog TV not the best. So that's going to be your best way. Subscribe and you guys will get an email verification. It is free to do when the show starts. That was like ADD all over the place. COC, guys, a hurricane production. Cool. My haunt is completely wrecked. Don't think I can rebuild. Dude, seriously, I'm sorry to hear that. That really sucks, but... Like other people have said, you know, nobody's going to know what isn't or what you haven't finished or haven't completed. I'm, I don't know what yours looks like or whatever. So anyway, try to rock it out. John John 9111. Uh, Troy, some webcams when in use, you can also record with it to see or see if you can do that with yours. I would. But the computer is outside, and I don't want anything to slow down the connection of Blog TV. I already noticed that there's a couple scares last night that it kind of skipped through. So you saw like the people entering, and then it cut out, and then you saw the, them leaving. So you didn't actually see them getting scared. So um, connectivity issues. Maybe one of you guys could um, 
if somebody is going to be watching Blog TV for like the duration tomorrow, send me a uh, YouTube message and maybe I can text you my phone number so that if something happens to the live feed, you guys could just text me and let me know because as uh, ABC Noise mentioned, Monday night you won't have Christy, Dynasia 12, to text you um, on the down feed. So plan B, this is plan B. <laughs> GK Eagles 10, who is the one that disliked this video? Grr! I know, huh? Really? Okay, that's all I'm saying about it. Sad panda. FF looks at 40. I had to miss last night's uh, blog TV because I was partying it up. I did win best costume though. Well, congratulations. And yeah, that's why I was up so late last night is I was partying it up. Or I should say early this morning. And the last tidbit of information, uh, if you guys haven't already done so, email me two pictures, no more than two pictures of your haunted house or your haunted yard or whatever. And when you do that, make sure that you tell me your uh, YouTube username. Uh, send them to HalloweenHellmouth at Yahoo.com. Deadline November 15th. And, uh, yeah, so send me your picture, and I'll do, like, a video montage of everybody's, uh, haunt. So, yeah, kind of like my tribute to you guys and bringing us all together, you know, because this is what we do. This is what we love. It's that time of the year. So, happy Halloween, guys. Happy haunting. And see you tomorrow. Good luck. For the outro tonight, let me leave you guys with this. How are you, man?